Sir, since our combat session went so well, I thought we might try something else. Lessons in interpersonal manipulation and information extraction. Lecture one entitled... Once they think they need you, they'll tell you anything. Descriptive name, sir. Is it always about need? When I first arrived at Zero Station, no one trusted me. I was the human Imperial who must have been a spy. But I learned my way around. And once the Chiss accepted my competence, it was easy to make friends. Not all your marks will be as pleasant as the Chiss. So suppose we're separated during an operation against... Pirates, say. How does your hand-trained operative play it? You blend into the background and wait for an opportunity. Don't stir the pot unless you know what you're in for. I'll happily leave that to you, then. I don't know what you think of my potential, sir, but I do appreciate your guidance. I've been deceiving people like an amateur for years. Time I started doing it right. Cypher 9, clearing your arrival with station control. Cypher, you're now orbiting 40,000 kilometers above Bell Service, the Republic's largest penal colony. Fancy rebuilding your criminal reputation? I thought you swapped your sense of humor for the promotion. Only in part. Proceed, Watcher 3. Bell Service prison was built in secret to hold the galaxy's most dangerous individuals. Three main levels, thousands of specialized cell blocks holding everyone from changelings to Sith Lords. We've known of the prison's existence for nearly a year. Now we understand that the conspirators subverted Belsavis to their own use. You sound pretty confident, given the circumstances. It's all about following the record trail. The conspirators pulled strings with Republic higher-ups to construct a special section, Mega Security Ward 23. It's somewhere past the alien cells and the Genocide Ward. They built it and sealed it when Belsavis was founded. No one gets inside. It's the highest security area of the best protected prison in the galaxy. You're going to break in and find what it's hiding. Lay out our resources. How do we do this? Two decades ago, a prison gang heard about the ward and tried to breach it, hoping something inside would help them escape. Thieves, security experts, the underworld's best. None of them made it back, but they had the right idea. You'll assemble your own gang from the prison. Establish yourself as a fellow inmate and succeed where the last group failed. Anyone particular in mind for my gang? You'll find supplies and a detailed dossier at our outpost on the planet's surface. Our military forces are encouraging riots as part of the war effort. It's distracting the Republic and should conceal your operation. But don't be mistaken, the prisoners are not grateful. Keep out. To see your master. I applied a fresh coat of paint to your quarters. The same colour, of course. Luka kukap, kaya omnuk mela kukam inu, laboram amka, mamni nikal, nagnayam. Let me go and talk to him. Hanam nimu, kem.
approach. You have garnered the attention of my master, the Emperor. He foresees you performing great deeds on Belsavis, and he sends this message. Do not disappoint him. You're an Imperial Guard. Am I supposed to salute or bow? Prostrate yourself as you see fit. Just remember, you're allowed on Belsavis at my request. This planet holds the Republic's dirtiest secret. A maximum security prison, home to the galaxy's most depraved convicts. We've come to free them. Specifically, the Dread Masters. Elder Sith who could change the course of the war. Such important prisoners will be under tight security. I can help. Excellent. But you won't be alone. We've deployed a heavy Imperial presence, led by five special operations groups. They freed prisoners and sparked riots. But during the chaos, we lost contact with all five teams. You will need to re-establish contact, and, if necessary, relaunch the operation to free the Dreadmasters. Springing these Sith won't be easy. I can try, but no promises. The Emperor is taking a personal interest in this operation. I suggest you do more than try. The shuttle will drop you at the last known location of Operations Group 5. Minimum resources, maximum results. Welcome, Agent. I take it Commander Callum sent you to lend us your talents. I'm Lord Medicius, leader of Operations Group 5. We started this riot by arming prisoners and pointing them at their Republic captors. But our primary goal is to extract certain inmates held deep within the prison. Commander Callum said they were Sith Lords. Correct. The Dread Masters. They can reach out through the Force and pierce their enemies with terror. The Republic claimed the Dread Masters were killed in the last war. Returning them to the field would be a crowning achievement. Why haven't you broken them out? The Republic evaded our forces and took the Dread Masters into the deep prison. Meanwhile, the Warden brought in a hard-headed off-world enforcer, Ellis Ruger. He's here to close our exit corridor. If the Republic isn't stopped, they'll retake this landing zone. Without an exit, our prison break will fail. You have prisoners rioting all over. Can the Republic truly retake this area? We have more than lawmen to contend with. The Republic have built new machines to cower behind. These warden droids have enough firepower to incapacitate a small army. The rioters are losing hope but we can reignite their rage. Destroy enough droids and the convicts will smell blood. They'll practically defend our landing zone for us. Crowds are so easily manipulated. Like nerf to the slaughter. <laughs> Fine. But if you back out... I'll be a hundred parsecs away. And you'll be stuck here. Now get to it. Be careful, sir. We are here.
Begin playback. Authorization Cypher 9. Cypher, this is Infiltration Operative Bax Kohler. I have assembled a list of prisoners with the skills to breach Mega Security Ward 23. This is Camden Slyke, assassin and escape artist. His brother died breaking into the ward some years ago. Slyke can reconstruct and reassess his brother's plan. Next, Cheney Barrow, slicer and computer expert, former top saboteur for the exchange. Ota, ex-mercenary and bounty hunter, cast out of the Mandalorians for dishonorable conduct. Lastly, Parkos. No information on his crimes, but he's an alien tracker whose species sees through walls. Handy to have around traps. These people are volatile and extremely dangerous. We are releasing a dark swarm upon this world. These people will be our responsibility. They won't cause any problems. I won't let them. You'll use explosives to free the prisoners. Tag each prison cell with a blasting cap, then head to the Republic Security Center. Use the security consoles to disable any fail-safes and make contact with the prisoners. Maps and safe house coordinates are attached. Anonymity, deception, these are your tools. Trust no one. I accept all forms of currency.
Thank you for your patronage. Take it slowly. Well,
Slowly.
Warning. Security lockdown in process. Open prisoner files for Kanjan Slyke, Cheney Barrow, Ota, and Parkos. Disable cell failsafes. Cell failsafes disabled. Defenses will not be activated in case of breach. Open communications link. You have their attention. Tell them who you are. Pay attention, I have an offer to make. Right now, you're rotting in jail. Riots go bad, you could even starve to death. But I'm putting together a job and I need good people. Your freedom's an advance on the pay. Doors blow in 10 seconds. Look for the meeting place on your hollow map. I expect you to be there. Electrons are singing. Scorpion sanctions activated. Was a very articulate speech? You chose your audience poorly. For example, Cheney Barrow is only the third best slicer on Bell Sabbath. I have now killed the other two. You assume I chose my audience for something specific. It isn't an assumption, but the odds are in my favor. Good luck getting your prisoners to work together. We'll speak again. Increasing combat pheromones. Droids are no more. I hope the rioters took note. Have no fear. Thousands of prisoners already move against the droids. More devotees follow your footsteps every minute. The job's done. Easy. Then I have a powerful ally indeed. The warden droids were meant to be the equal of twenty prisoners. Still, we need more convicts on our side. An army begins with generals. We must provide the prisoners with the leadership they require. There must be plenty of leadership material locked up here. Break them out and put them to work. Exactly. There's a carbonite storage facility in the intake yards. Some were rebellion leaders. Others simply murdered every guard they found. We need both persuasions. Can't we train the prisoners ourselves? You've already armed them. These prisoners are celebrities down here. They command loyalty and respect. Prisoner, what of your mission into the Carbon Gallery? The Crisis Response Unit ambushed us. I got away. Only me. Excellent. Ruger took the bait. Now you can free the frozen prisoners and wipe out the Crisis Response Unit all at once. Your trap just made my job more dangerous. But the payoff will be considerable. Without his top men, Ruger must scramble to defend his station. Destroy the guards and defrost the prisoners. Then we'll have safe passage to extract the Dread Masters. Take it slowly. 